Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context no matter how many times these two clubs meet. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. for another feud why let an exhibition match get in the way of that so these two will be going at it very very strongly so it's away we go then so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Edison, he's got great technique, Peter, and for a goalkeeper, he's got the passing range of a top-class midfielder. I think his, his team will be looking to use him as a, a foundation from which to build both sustained spells of possession as well as quick counter-attacks. He's got a phenomenal left foot. He's getting the best out of him will count for so much. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Rodri tries to get it forward quickly. De Bruyne. Gundogan. Sinchenko. A really good feat from him. Neither of the teams has yet taken the initiative. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And it's to Bruyne. Mares. Up for a throw. Varane plays it forward. Maguire. Manchester United yet to have a shot on target. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Sassuolo have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. So it's away we go then. Kirikesh. 
Ferrari. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Perhaps Ricardo Rodriguez. to locate someone up front more than happy to take the muscular approach Colin Lopo is on to it and can take it up a chance Juricic Lopez plays it out to the flank Deflection, but he's claiming it. <laughs> Sassuolo have an early lead. Good start. Goes direct to the front line. Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Sergio Busquets. He's a great reader of the game and he's just so, so tactically aware. He plays in that defensive midfield position, but he's not just a destroyer. When he gets on the ball, gets a chance to pick his head up, he can produce a really good forward pass and, and delivers it with accuracy pretty much every time. That's an incredible foundation around which to build a whole team from. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. There's the whistle. Petri. And it's Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba plays it into the box. And that has been cleared. Tetri. Busquets. Ferran Torres. And here's Dani Alves. Has a hit! Almiron. And it's played forward. Pique positions himself well and cuts it out. Jordi Alba, Tetri, De Jong, Busquets, and here's Aubameyang, and here's Aubameyang, tries a shot! These early exchanges have been frenetic, looks like we have a proper game on our hands, Peter. Aubameyang, Ferran Torres. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Forward it goes. Ferran Torres hit into the middle. Always going to be the keepers. Almiron. Well, that's where he wants it. Piquet gets into the right position to intercept. 
He's through. Jorlington. He's good for it. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Is there and he can get that clear. On Sufati. And here's Torres. He's come loose. It's a fabulous position. Richie plays it forward. Daniel Alves. Tetri. And here's Aubameyang. St. Maximin tries to get it forward quickly. San Maxima. Hayden. Hayden goes looking. Tries to dink it in. This is gone, that's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. St. Maximin gets it out to the wing. Cleared away. Hits one! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. <laughs> Only partially clear. Throwing. Looking for space out wide. Jordi Alba does well there. Alert. Tetri. Tetri drives it forward. Clark. Hoists it forward. Shaw Linton looks to get on the end of this. Trippier. Willock. Longstaff. Willock. Forward it goes. PK can get it clear. And we hit. They'll be calling me, calling me They'll be calling me royalty 